Here's my Dell Inspiron 23 with the uh, cover already removed. The optical drive pulled right out. I'm going to add a uh, second hard drive. Does it have an extra bay? I'll go over more details on this when I get to the desktop on what I use. But the 2.5 inch uh, hard drive fit right into the uh, adapter, the caddy. Putting the lid back on or the cover. That's one thing I, I like about this uh, desktop. Don't need very many tools. Flat screwdriver is all I use to take off the, uh, the cover. Went through the same process uh, when I replaced the uh, the RAM on this this same computer, which I hope you uh, you saw. Again, putting in the clips going in to lock the uh, cover in place. The little stand clips right into place. Ready to power on. And we'll see you at the desktop. Okay, I'm back at the desktop. And I'm going to go to this PC. Show you this is the uh, second hard disk drive that I just had. It. And this is the main one now. Uh, this second one used to be my main hard drive. And I replaced it with an S SSD. Okay, and I had been using it as an external hard drive. I think I made a video on that. Uh, I used it for a while as an external drive, and I wanted an internal drive. Uh, I, this is a uh, Dell Inspan 23 all in one, so it doesn't have much uh, room, as you saw in the earlier video, first part one, uh, everything is on the monitor. So in order to get a second drive, I went ahead and uh, replaced the optical drive using a caddy. So the caddy that I use, I uh, got it at Amazon right here. So basically it's pretty, pretty straightforward. You just put it in through the, say the connection connected right there. So it went away. There's no way you can put it in wrong. It's got to fit this connection right here. And this particular one has screws in the back to keep it in place. And then as you saw in the video, it just uh, slips right in and locks in place. Uh, now the, the tab here on top, I did have to replace, uh, uh, take it from the optical drive and that's two screws and I put it in here. That was about the only time I used a uh, tool for this other than the flat screwdriver to remove the uh, the back cover of the uh, of the PC. But pretty straightforward. The one thing I, I want to point out that depending on the drive, if it's a brand new one, you, you might not see it here. You might click on my PC and you'll only see your, your C drive. So if that's the case, what you want to do is uh, right click on my computer. I mean, on yeah, Windows logo here in the lower left and go to disk management. And all your drives, whether they're internal or external, that are connected to your PC, should show up here. Okay. So this is my main drive C, and this is my second drive I just added, storage. Okay. Uh, now what I'm going to do is, uh, on my SSD drive, which is my C drive, I'm going to just keep basically the programs, uh, a few uh, uh, data items in there, but for the most part, the main data is going to go into the uh, storage there. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now, uh, if it turns out that you go ahead and uh, install the 
the drive and you power on your computer and you don't see me over here on my PC but you see it here and dismantle it then you might have to initialize it maybe format it and then you should see it over here okay so as an example of that uh, let me do this with my storage F I'm going to right click And I'm going to shrink. Click on shrink. So actually, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to form another partition for this particular drive. So I'm going to shrink. And uh, we'll use, say, uh, 5 gigabytes only. So this is just an example. So here I'm going to enter 5,000 megabits. So that'll be about uh, 5 gigabytes. And then hit shrink. Okay, so now you have it here is unallocated. So it might turn in. So let's let's assume for now that uh, the storage F here that I had is the drive C, and let's suppose it's un unallocated one here. This partition is a drive that you just added, and you don't see it over here in my PC over here. Yeah, you just see the your main drive C here. Okay, okay. So what you might have to do is uh, Right-click on this and uh, click on New Simple Volume, and then this wizard comes up, and you click Next here, and then here you just click Next. Okay, and then you you can assign the letter that you have here, or you can pick another one. Now normally this would be the DVD or CD drive, which is what was in my case. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to pick another letter. I'm going to pick H. You can pick any letter that's not assigned. Okay. So this is one way that you can also change the, uh, the drive letter on a particular hard drive. Click Next here. NTFS formatting here. A new model. You can label this. I label my storage. Okay. And just click on Next. This gives you a summary of what happened here. Click finish. So now you have new volume. Okay. And now you do see it over here on the right. Okay. So keep in mind that that, that could happen when you install a second drive and it doesn't show up here. Say it's a brand new one. Uh, you might need to initialize it a little bit of format. And then you see it right here. Okay. New volume H. Now, there could be a situation where you install a second drive and you don't see it here, and it doesn't appear over here on the disk drive or the uh, disk management. Okay, so what I would suggest to you is uh, power out the computer and reattach it and see what happens. If your computer starts acting funny, I would go ahead and say, say you label it D. Maybe your operating system or your motherboard, depending on what uh, uh, Windows uh, or uh, operating system you run, maybe it just doesn't like the fact that you change the uh, DVD or remove the optical drive. So you might want to change some letters. So uh, if it doesn't run smooth for you, those are some of the options. Reconnect the drive, maybe change the letter. Okay. I had a few issues with, with mine when I when this was D. The computer was running a little bit slow, kind of like the, the system, the whether it was the motherboard or the system just didn't uh, really like uh, the fact that I had a uh, a drive instead of the DVD or optical drive. So I relabeled it F, and it, it's it's uh, working pretty good right now. Okay. Now, what I did right here is something you could also do if you, if you wanted to create a system image. You could create a second drive like this. Uh, of course, you need more than uh, 5 gigabytes here, but uh, this is just an example. Okay? Uh, and then you would go ahead and, and copy your image to this recovery drive right there. Okay? But this is just an example. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this now. Delete the volume, right click. 
right click in a delete volume okay now it's unallocated so I want it back with my storage drive so I'm going to click right click on the S drive and then yeah, I'm going to click on extend volume and that's going to connect these put it together click next just leave everything the way it is next finish and now you see the storage F over here on the right. Uh, now it's uh, together. Okay. So again, those are some things you, you look uh, you look have to look at when you're uh, installing a a second drive. Uh, the majority of the time it should go pretty smooth, but again you might have to do something like uh, again initializing the uh, the drive. Uh, the other thing I want to point out to you on on uh, if you're going to do this uh, on your laptop or and, uh, you have a computer like mine uh, all in one make sure you have the right size caddy okay mine uh, my computer takes a small disk 2.5 inches instead of the standard uh, 3.5 that goes to most uh, desktops so it's the lap laptop size so uh, generally your your, your standard uh, Optical drives will have a width of either 9.5 millimeters or 12.7. So make sure uh, you can do this uh, on a laptop or so uh, that you get the the right size. Okay. So hope this helps you out. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.